So ever since James Gunn was announced to be the new CEO of DC Studios, there's been a lot of controversy on his decisions. James Gunn initially said his new DCU was going to be a hard reboot from the old DCEU. Into The Flash, a fantastic movie that I really love that resets the entire DC universe. Entire DC universe. But then over time, he went back on his promises and now it's a soft reboot. Soft reboots typically fail due to confusion of stories and characters. Some actors are coming back with a different story and others are going to be recasted in the same characters, which, yeah, that is very confusing for new fans and also old fans too. A hard reboot would have simplified everything to make it easier on the viewer and it would be a very smooth transition compared to a soft reboot, which Everyone is confused, like it, a lot of people are going to be confused with this. Another thing to point out is James Gunn actually said The Flash was one of his favorite DC movies before it came out and look at how that happened. A lot of people did like it but in my opinion it was just poorly written and it seemed very rushed, the CGI was bad, wonky and it really really flopped in the box office. When we got the news that it was going to be a soft reboot instead of a hard reboot, it really made fans think that he's just picking and choosing which DC characters he wants to continue. For example, all the characters that were featured in the Suicide Squad movie are all going to be transferred to the new DC universe. So we all know the Superman controversy where back in October 2022, Henry Cavill's Superman made an appearance in Black Adam. Henry Cavill also took it to Instagram to express his excitement on coming back as Superman. I am back as Superman and the image you see on this post and what you saw in Black Adam are just a very small taste of things to come. So uh, there's a lot to be thankful for and I'll get to that in time but I wanted to thank you guys most of all. Thank you for your support and thank you for your patience. Then everything changed when James Gunn was announced as co-CEO of DC Studios. Then Henry Cavill was let go one month after he was announced to return as Superman. James Gunn claimed that he didn't have any control over this and never wanted Henry Cavill to be Superman in his new universe in the first place. Now here's when things get interesting and the reason why I said I can't trust James Gunn anymore. James Gunn specifically stated that he fired Henry Cavill due to his age and he wanted to focus on a younger Superman in the new universe. But as time went on, he started to shift his narrative in each social media post and tweet. So now James Gunn completely changed the narrative. He said, I was never going to make a young Superman movie. I just wanted to make a Superman movie. Don't get me wrong at all. James Gunn is an amazing director, an amazing storyteller. He conveys messages in ways that I don't think any other comic book director really can. But in my opinion, I think James Gunn says a little too much on social media. He's saying so much to the point where he's making himself seem like he's confused with his own story. I know this is a video why we shouldn't fully trust James Gunn, but there are some positive things I have to say about him. He's created some amazing stories within Marvel that I personally really love. The Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy was like insane like it was amazing honestly it's probably one of the best things in marvel in my opinion i really like older music and whenever there was like the song came up i would just be like jamming in my head in the movie theater i just loved all the song choices he chose in the films he has a certain style that is very very unique it's very goofy, but also it has a lot of heart and emotion in it. The Suicide Squad was also an amazing film that I really loved. There were certain decisions that I personally did not like, like King Shark's softness to him and cuteness. But after watching the film a few times, I he's literally by far my favorite character. I even have a hot toy that I just unboxed recently. My point is don't put all your eggs in one basket. Like MJ said in Spider-Man No Way Home. If you expect disappointment, then you can never really get disappointed. In the end, I think he'll make great decisions for the new universe coming forward. I'm just saying we shouldn't really get too excited just yet. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I really appreciate every single person that tunes in. Um, I'm going to do more videos in the future. I'm really going to focus on this channel now, do YouTube shorts, everything. I'm going to start doing the community tabs and polls. So make sure to to vote on those, go to the community tab and vote on something. I'll be breaking down more movies and doing more movie reviews in the future. So please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.